Hey, San Ramon. So it occurred to us, the teachers were all talking and we realized that Mother's Day is about a week, week and a half away. And we, usually in school, we make Mother's Day pr projects and we're not gonna be able to do that this year. So this is, you don't show your, your mom this video. This is something you can make for your mom at your house with normal supplies around your house. So we're gonna show you how to make a pop-up Mom's Day card. Now, there's lots of ways to do pop-ups. So I'm only gonna show you a few techniques today but there are other ways too. So you could totally YouTube it and find others. Um, so what you'll mainly need is if you have a, like a piece of harder paper, like construction paper or cardstock, that's great. If you don't, you can use regular paper too, so don't panic, but that's helpful to have that, have some construction paper, crayons, markers, a glue stick if possible, or white glue or tape would work too, and a pair of scissors, okay? So I'm gonna show you a few ways you can make a card for your mom. Or, um, or aunt or dad or, or maybe just friend. Maybe you, maybe you don't feel like doing this for, for Mother's Day, you have something else in mind, but you wanna make a nice card for your grandmother or something. This is a great way to make a card. Okay, okay, I'll show you. Hold okay, on friends. Day. So here's the one I sort of made and I've got this card stock material. So the first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is how to make one of these things that pop up. And then what you can do is you could tape like a heart to it, if you see that, or glue a heart to it or you could glue like, you know, a couple little flowers to it so that when the person opens the card, voila, they have these flowers sticking up. So let me show you how to do that. That's a really simple one. You just take your piece of paper or card stock or construction paper, whatever you have, fold it really nicely, and then you're gonna put two cuts in it, one there and one there. The trickiest part of this, I think, is when you open it up, is you kind of have to pull that out and fold it the opposite way. And then you kind of, then what you're gonna do is once you have that folded, then close the whole thing and you're gonna fold it right here. You see that, if you fold it right there, then it'll be nice and, it'll be nice and firm and straight. Okay, and then, so now you have this little flap here that you can glue anything to. So I'll show you how to glue it with here. Let's pretend I wanna glue this flower. I'm gonna pop, now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna put glue on my flower in this case. I'm gonna put it on here because it's gonna be harder to know where on my flower to actually put the glue. And then you wanna think about how it's gonna look when it closes. Is it gonna get squished? You don't want your flower to get squished. So I'm gonna do it like, Maybe I'll stick it on like that on one side. Maybe I don't like that it's only on one side of the card. So maybe I'll take this other flower, this purple one, and I'll glue right over and I'll just kind of layer it. And now I have two little flowers. See, so then when you close it, you really push it down well so it really closes well. When you close it, when it opens up, suddenly you have this three-dimensional flower. And you could even get fancy and you could write in the background, like maybe you want to write if you want to have it be like grass in the background or something, you could draw grass coming up. Whatever you want to do, you could get really, you could have a lot of fun with this. Okay. All sorts of greenery, doop, 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 doop. Whatever you want. Maybe you want mountains in the background. Maybe you want to have some mountains. You could draw some mountains in the background with some trees on there. Whatever your mom likes, maybe your mom likes hiking. So think about the person, always think about the person you're making the card for and what they like. And if you are doing this for Mother's Day, you're gonna to wanna to write on there, Happy Mother's Day. So happy is H-A-P-P-Y, Mother's Day, M-O-T-H-E-R. And there's an apostrophe there, S-Day. Then you write day. Why do you think there's an apostrophe there? Anyone know? That is because it's Mother's Day, it's her day. It's, it's showing possession, okay? So that's why you have that apostrophe. So there's one example of a Mother's Day card, and that's just really super simple. You could put anything you wanted on there. Maybe your mom likes, um, maybe she likes flowers, maybe she likes hearts, you wanna put a heart on there. Maybe she likes um, uh, crowns, maybe she's like a princess, maybe she likes high heel shoes. We know one mom at San Ramon who likes those. Maybe um, she's really sporty and she likes kettlebells or dumbbells or 
uh, barbells. Maybe she lifts a lot of weight. Maybe she likes to run. You want to put running shoes or maybe she's, um, she does triathlon. So you want to put a bathing suit or a bike on there. Who knows? Whatever, whatever is what your mom's about. Maybe she loves chocolate. You want to put a chocolate, you know, piece of pretend piece of chocolate on there. That's one way. Another thing you can do that sort of pop up like, so on this card I did, I'm going to glue this thing down here. I did this kind of pop-up that I just showed you, but then I did these other ones too. You have to write the Mother's Day on there before you glue that on, by the way. Um, these too, these are really fun. These, I just took a piece of paper. Actually, I took cardstock for that, but I don't think you have to have cardstock. So you just take a piece of paper, and I'm gonna make it a little smaller than that. And then I did one of those accordion folds, which you've probably done before at school at some point. I know all the first graders have done it. First grade on up, I'm not sure about TK and kinder, so you guys might need a little bit more parent participation in this activity for that reason. Do a nice job with your folding, and then you're gonna glue the, at the bottom down. Just do a little glue on the bottom piece there. Stick it on and then fold it back up so that it doesn't go out of your card. And then you could glue anything you wanted to the top of that, like I did this heart, and have it so it pops up at her when she opens it up. Okay, and you could do different colors of these. You could have it be like the green stem and then have like the flower be on the top. You, you can go kind of crazy, whatever you like doing. Here's another cool way you could do it card too. So those are two ways to have them sort of, the things sort of pop out that way. This is another pop-up way. You take a card. This time you're gonna open the card this way. Okay, so the thing, the pop-up thing is gonna go this direction. So let me show you how that's gonna work. You're gonna take, I'm gonna take a piece of red paper for now. The trick with this, there are a couple mathematical pieces you need to know about this part. First thing is the paper that you're gonna use shouldn't, be longer than this paper because it will it would might potentially come out the edges then and you're not going to like how that looks when the card is closed so you want to make sure see how right now that paper is too long so i'm going to cut that a little bit and it doesn't really matter how the length as long as it's not longer than that okay then the next trick that you need to know is it needs to have six folds so when you do your accordion folding i've got one two now so I'm gonna count as I do this so I don't lose track. Three, four, and try to keep them as sim as next right aligned with each other as you can. Five, six, because if they get kind of off, it won't look quite as good. And this is six. And then if you have a little bit of paper left over, that's totally fine. Just cut that off. So just cut off the very end here. Doop doop. Okay. Now the first thing we're gonna do to keep it really simple is I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a heart. And I think all of you have cut hearts. I think all all every single one of you. So you're just gonna do whatever it is you're gonna draw, whatever it is you're gonna cut out of here, you're gonna cut half of it. So imagine it being cut down the middle. So just like a heart, like you would cut a normal heart, you're gonna cut the heart down the middle. And the reason is is because you need to keep half the paper on there because it's like a it's like one of those snowflakes okay so I cut my heart right that's half a heart do you see my half a heart I kept some paper on this side and I kept some paper on this side okay so that they would stay attached and then look what happens <laughs> isn't that fun if I had cut this whole edge these guys would not be attached here do you see that? So you have to keep both sides, a little bit of paper on the fold on both sides. If you cut it all off of one edge, they will not stay connected. So now I have these little hearts that are all connected. How cute is that? I'm gonna flip it over to make it easier to glue. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue the back. Shoop, 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 shoop. Right there. And then I'm gonna fold it and I'm gonna glue like this and then watch this trick this is really fun if you take it push it down doop, 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 and then you open it up voila you have these cute little hearts so I could have gone a little bit longer on that but you don't want to go super long 
So those are hearts. Here I made a tiara, <laughs> uh, making it look like, and I wrote our queen. So you could you could glue that down and have have it be like your mom is the queen of your family. I should have gone that way. I just realized that. I feel like that's one too many. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, that's seven. That's why it feels like too many. It went one too many. It should just do six. It works better. Okay, so then if I glue it down, then it'll work better. Okay, that would be our queen. Let's see another one. This is for the mom who likes to work out. These are supposed to be little kettlebells. You could put kettlebells in there. I did hearts. You could do flowers. Oh, wait, there's another one here. I did little people, and I'll show you how to do the people because I think they're so super cute. The people right here um, and then I wrote on there we love you so let me show you how to do the people for the people I just took um, these guys up here so you can look at them and think about them Move that guy over here um, there's a queen um, for the people let's see that needs to be a little shorter um, this is a little trickier, so if it's, you're a little guy, you might need some help from um, an older sibling or your other parent, someone who can give you some help. Um, so same thing, you're gonna do the six folds, one, two. Remember, it seems like it's only one fold. It is only one fold, but you've got one and two. That's how that works. You're gonna line them all up, three. Five. We're a little tight here. Six. So this last one isn't gonna. We're not gonna see the whole person on this last one, but that's okay. Well, I think it'll be okay. Sorry, person. Okay. So now what you're gonna do is, this is the edge of this one. Do you see how that works? Because this one isn't attached to anything. So what you'll do is take a pencil. And you're going to remember, you just draw half of the person. So I'm not going to draw the whole head. I'm only going to draw half of the head. Hold on. Yeah, I got to go this way, right? Okay. So I'm going to do like a half of a circle for their head, right? And then I'm going to draw a little bit of a neck. I'm going to draw the arm coming up so it makes it look like they're like holding hands or something. Then here's the body. And remember, I'm not going to cut all this off because I need that to be attached. There's the body. There's the leg. And then the leg will come all the way up. So I should have drawn that straight like that. Okay. So then I'm going to cut. And this is a little tough to cut too. So if you're, I would say, you know, under first grade, you might need a little help with this part if you decide to do a person. And remember that this hand is important. You got to keep that hand on there because we have to have some of this part attached. And then when you open it up, you have your people. So this one I showed you, I told you how that one edge was going to get a little bit, that one person's going to get a little cut off because I, I did it. Um, I'm going to do it this way actually, um, because I didn't have quite enough for my sixth one. And then you could color the people like I did these guys. You could write, we love you, or happy Mother's Day across there, or whatever you want to do. Okay, you could decorate them, decorate the actual card, and don't forget to decorate the front part of the card too. Don't leave that blank. You could decorate, you know, um, we love you, or you're the best, or um, or some, some sort of picture of something she likes. That's always a nice thing. It's always really nice to, when you make a card for somebody, to think about that person and what they like. All right, I'm going to leave you to it. I hope these have given you some good ideas and gotten you inspired. And after you make them for Mother's Day, you can then save your ideas and do the same thing for Father's Day. And if you've, if you've got a dad that you want to make one for, okay, or, or maybe a grandpa or an uncle or someone like that, because unfortunately we won't be able to make them in school. So anyway, have fun. I hope you guys enjoy this. It's always, I always really enjoyed as a mom, I always really liked getting the homemade cards. That was my favorite part. Okay, have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.